let me say this and let me say it clearly you can make it number one you can make it number two you are not a failure did you hear me you are not a failure you make mistakes and you have failed and you're gonna fail that's part of life you see when you embrace that 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 part of life is about me making some mistakes part of life is about me failing sometimes your actions learn to separate your actions from you now if you choose to live a cycle and and allow what you do uh, to become a part of your character then that's you but a lot of times we do things and make decisions that's what, what, what we call out of character and we make mistakes it's uncommon it's not something we always do and we tend to feel that our lives are worthless now you see but I've got news for you today what you're going through hear me you may have tripped up you may have faltered listen to me you're not a failure and it's not over your life is not going to fall apart as a matter of fact, I, I remember growing up in Newark. How many of my Newark people out there say yeah? Um, growing up in Newark, I remember I dreaded the winter. I mean, it was like when winter time would come, oh my God. I just was like, there were times it was like, here, here I go. Okay, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to endure it. I just dreaded winter. And I knew, you know, when that cold season came when fall was you know that cold fall season in about November huh my god and um you know I just I never liked the cold all my life it gave me backflash when I was young and it's just my body was tormented and um one of the things God began to teach me about struggles about hard times anything in life that you face it's a season it's a season. And I remember when I got a hold of that revelation, right? Okay, this is just a season. You see, I said, you know, I used to go look at my account and say, wait a minute. Most high, most seasons are only three months, 90 days. You know, three months just seemed like a long time to me. So I thought 90 days. You know, that's three months. That's not long. 90 days? Okay. I'm going to prepare for the winter. Hear me. I'm going to prepare for the season that I find to be a very hard time in my life. A struggling moment in my life that I know is going to come. You, you hear what I'm saying? So in the warm times, or what we call in our lives the good times of our lives, that's the time you prepare for the season that you're going to struggle. Hear me. You see, most of us, we really never prepare for failure. Who wants to fail? So we think, I don't want to fail, so why should I fail? But, stop. The truth of the matter is, whether you want it or not, you're going to have some failures in your life. You're going to make some mistakes in your life. You are going to have some hard times in your life. All those are not designed to destroy you. They're designed to make you better. <laughs> They're designed to stretch you. They're designed to strengthen you. They're designed to make you wiser. They're designed to take you forward. If you don't want to go forward, don't go through nothing. As a matter of fact, for many of you, what you're doing is you're setting yourself up never to go forward, never to move higher because you live your life making sure you never go through anything and never have no hard times. And no matter how hard you try, they come. And what's frustrating you is you don't accept that that's a part of life. What's really killing you and, and stressing you is you believe I don't have to go through nothing. But I don't care what level you are in life. I don't care who you are, how educated you are. I don't care how much money you got. I've heard the rich and the poor. The struggles come. And the Bible even declares it by saying that, that, that it rains on the just as well as the unjust. You know what the difference is? The rain is going to come down. But I'm going to tell you something. 
What makes the difference are those who carry an umbrella. If you got an umbrella, you'll smile when it rains. You remember the, the movie Dancing in the Rain, I think it was called? You remember the guy, he's dancing and twirling, twirling his umbrella and swinging it around? How many of you that in your hard times right now while it's raining, you can dance? In your uh, 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 circumstances, in the middle of the pain, you can say, you know what? I'm going to get the umbrella out and I'm going to walk through this thing. Hear me. I, hear me. I might get some areas of my feet wet. There's some things that, you know, the wind is going to blow. It's going to get, I'm going to hold on to my umbrella. Hear me. Because I might get wet, but I don't have to be totally soaked and drenched. Come on, somebody. I don't have to have let anxiety stress me out to the point that it kills me. I don't have to allow everything everybody say to me to affect me. I don't have to allow debt to take me off course. Mm -mm. They may take my car, but they can't take my life and they can't take my faith. They can't take my integrity. They can't take my love. Oh, somebody might hurt me. Somebody might get revenge on me. But listen to me. God's going to protect me. I'm going to walk this thing through. And I'm going to hold on to God's unchanging hand. I'm not giving up. Because see, that's what the devil wants you to do. That's what all your, your enemies around you want you to do. They want you to throw in the towel. And they're going to say, boo. And they want you to run. They want you to run. Did you hear me? They want you to run. They want you to stop. They want you to give up. They want you to fail. Hear what I'm saying? But you have to make a steadfast, determined decision that I am going to succeed at any cost. And I'm going to walk with God no matter what. You hear what I'm saying? Now, I hope something I said bless you. Go to jrafa.org. Uh, That's jrafa.org. Send me a comment. Or you can send me an email. At gilbertd2174 at yahoo.com. This message has been a blessing to you and you want to plug into this ministry and find out how you can be a blessing in this ministry and you can receive more words of encouragement just like this and even more. God has some great things for you.